Hi right, guys, I um, want to talk about tools to get the job done. I've been asked a couple of times uh, where I get certain things to be able to fix uh, things that go wrong, go wrong with this uh, this old 1978 John Deere. Um, so I kind of I wrote a couple things down just because I've tried this a couple of times and I've screwed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. So number one is go to Goodwill or some sort of bargain clothes store and get some stuff that you're going to mess up because there's, I don't know how many times I've been laying in a pool of hydraulic fluid um, in the mud just trying to get something to um, to stop linking for me, especially these big hoses that are under here. Um, so clothes number one. Uh, number two, the disposable gloves from Harbor Freight. Those are usually the cheapest ones. You can get the green one, or sorry, get the, the blue ones or the black ones. The black ones are a little bit thicker, but I always find them uh, really harder to get on. And they're going to rip anyway. You know, when you're working with these things, um, the black ones may work, may rip a little bit, a little bit less. But um, you know, it's just your choice. Uh, that and O-rings. Um, Harbor Freight has uh, little packs of O-rings. Uh, actually, a full these full sets that are pretty cheap, uh, and they seem pretty comparable to the ones that you would get at your at your supply store for uh, for your machine for your machine. Uh, that and a one inch impact wrench. Uh, I've used it a number of times on my machine. Uh, got the one from Harbor Freight. Uh, just uh, you'll need it to be able to get some of these things off. You might actually need some heat and uh, and be able to and have a, a pretty good sized hammer to be able to beat some of these bolts off. Um, large tools. Uh, Harbor Freight is okay, but some of the some of the ones they have just don't go big enough. Um, I found that uh, Northern Tool will carry the the right uh, the right size and you can get individuals too so if you're looking for the one and three eighths one and a half and all the ones in between those that's the place to be able to get it and it usually seems like it's the uh, the best price um, fluid uh, I get mine this thing is the the JD 20 um, hydraulic fluid uh, specifications you guys might have the other uh, uh, I think it's like the 303 but um, fluid I get mine from uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, tractor Supply, I can get a five gallon bucket for $37 for this thing. And sometimes I go through it, uh, like right now I've got a leak. I actually have two light leaking um, uh, stabilizer cylinders. One's not so bad, one's pretty bad. Uh, and just for me to be able to get job with, get done with this job, I'm gonna go ahead and just you know keep on working and I'm gonna throw some more fluid in it when I need it. Um, Hoses actually from Tractor Supply, They're, they have a, a little bit of a range and, and also Northern Tool, but um, as far as where where I get my hoses, uh, when it gets down to it and I really need a, a good size hose or I'm going to be getting quite a bit and I need to have it custom made, uh, the best place is uh, find a hydraulic hose supplier in your area. For me, I use Catawba Rubber. Uh, I can get there's for usually half the price or even more than uh, like at a John Deere dealer. Uh, example would be I had to replace the uh, the main hose, the actually the supply and the return hose that went back to my uh, my valve bank for my backhoe, and uh, they were 84 and 89 inches long, uh, full one inch hoses, and uh, that and that's inside diameter. So and I think they were like 90 90 something dollars a piece. Now if I would have got them through John Deere, it was going to be like probably almost $200 a piece. Um, so something else, big pipe. I used a uh, clothesline pole for mine and, and sometimes you just need a little extra leverage. So uh, big pipe, uh, be able to, to use as a breaker bar. Uh, and as for the for the impact wrench, I found that, that Northern Tool carries the, the, the least expensive uh, impact um, sockets to be able to use on your one inch wrench uh, and fittings uh, I've just because it's an old machine I've split some of these machine these uh, these fittings on the machine uh, find a uh, like a farmer uh, tractor not tractor supply but an actual tractor supplier um, uh, that supplies farmers in the area uh, they usually have the fittings on hand and a little bit cheaper. You might be able to find them online, but you know you, you just can't take it in and compare it. So um, that's kind of my two cents, less than five minute video on you know where I get all the stuff that I use to be able to fix this thing. And it always seems to be testing me. But uh, got any questions? Let me know. Thanks.